WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has now officially agreed to a plea deal with the Biden administration that would allow him to avoid imprisonment in the United States. This is a big deal. Let me tell you what the terms are as reported by CNN. They report that under these terms, the Justice Department prosecutors will seek a 62 month sentence which is equal to the amount of time Assange has served in a high security prison in London while he fought extradition to the United States. The plea deal would allow him to take credit for time served, allowing Assange to immediately return to Australia, his native country. Now, this is not the final hurdle because a federal judge would need to approve the plea deal. And I'm uncertain at the moment whether or not a federal judge will approve it. But if you're wondering what this case is all about, if you've missed it, well, Assange had faced 18 counts from a 2019 indictment for his alleged role in publishing classified documents that were leaked by Chelsea Manning. And in those classified materials, it showed the United States military engaging in war crimes. It had provided evidence of you know, detainees being tortured in Guantanamo Bay. It embarrassed the US government and the State Department. Let's keep it real, that's what it was really about. And so in 2019, under the Trump administration, the DOJ sought to extradite Julian Assange to the United States in order to prosecute him. And now it appears that the Biden administration has offered him a plea deal and he has accepted it. Thanks for watching. Our audience has helped build TYT into the media giant it is today. Together, we can accomplish anything. Support our work and join us at tyt.com slash team. Okay, so the part I love about the story is thank God it's over. Uh, and let's hope that it goes to fruition and we're done with this and Assange is free and can go wherever he wants. Uh, the part I don't love is that he, he has to take the deal and they he already served 62 months. I know. That's a giant, giant sentence in the UK while he waited for extradition. Now remember when he was hiding in the embassy because he said, well, if I don't hide in the embassy, they're gonna put me in prison while I'm waiting for extradition. He was totally right about that, right? So now he already served over five years. This is a massive injustice. The fact that he has to sign anything saying that that was okay is another injustice layered on top of it. So both Republican and Democratic presidents hounded him to the end of the earth mm -hmm. because he did the principal crime of journalism. That's exactly right. Like yeah. journalism is not allowed at all, at all in America. If you dare criticize the powerful, doesn't matter if it's Biden or Trump or Bush or any of these guys or Obama who started this in the first place. They say, how dare you embarrass America well, by telling the truth. What Assange revealed, no one disputes is true. And no one disputes that America was spying on its own citizens. That's right. And, and that he revealed something that is super important for the electorate to know. But they go, well, yeah, but he upset the powerful, so he should be sent to prison for upsetting the powerful and the high crime of journalism. So I, I also have mixed feelings about this because I want Julian Assange to finally be free. And I want him to be able to go to Australia and live his life. I mean, the fact that he's been living the way he's been living as a result of the work that he's done is infuriating to say the least. And the reason why I have mixed feelings, you know, the, the negative side of this is he has to plead guilty. And think about that for a second. So you have Chelsea Manning leaking classified material to Julian Assange and WikiLeaks and WikiLeaks publishes this information. Very similar to what you'll see, let's say, in the New York Times, but there's one exception. When the New York Times takes leaked information from someone, let's say, in the State Department, you know, the State Department is strategizing. They're using the media as a tool to manipulate the American public and garner support for whatever military operation they're trying to garner support for. I think the 2003 preemptive invasion or preemptive war in Iraq is a good example of that. So if the State Department leaks it because they want it to be printed, it's totally fine. But if you have a whistleblower within the military leaking this classified information to a journalist and they publish it, well, then that's considered a crime that you'll get prosecuted for. This sets a bad precedent. That's the point that I'm trying to make here. Yeah, so 
Look, small credit to Joe Biden for getting it done, at least. Uh, Donald Trump's giant liar that he is. We we'll talked a good game about, oh, yeah, I care about Julian Assange and Julian Assange. Look, there was a period of time where I criticized him way after the leaks because he started paying bounties for stories. And don't ruin your credibility. The, what happened with the leaks was one of the best acts of journalism of my lifetime, right? So, but those small critiques that we can have one uh, over uh, different ways of doing journalism is nothing compared to putting someone in jail for 62 weeks because they um, actually revealed things that were true about the American government, which is the best form of uh, journalism. And I'm sorry, 62 months. Uh, and and so, I one more time, I hate that he had to plead guilty. He's not at all guilty. It's the American government that's guilty of doing the crimes against us that he revealed, and then doing crimes against Julian Assange. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'll have you remember, what was the first thing that they charged Assange with? Sex. I remember right. that that he allegedly took a condom off. Yeah, that, that he took a, that he might or might not have he might not have used a condom during sex. Yeah, I remember that. And where, but, did, where did those charges go? I, <laughs> into the ether, okay? And when I said at the time, these are trumped up charges, whenever they want to target someone and do a character assassination, they always go to sex first. Mm -hmm. People in media were out. How dare you? Are you minimizing the great crime of not using a condom? How dare you? You're the guilty one. I can't believe you're defending Julian Assange. These are the so called journalists in America. Sure, buddy. Sure, you're a journalist. So, the last thing is to double down on what Anna said. The government leaks all the time. Go to the New York Times or Washington Post today, and you'll see a leak from the government. No one's ever punished for it because those are the leaks that help the government. That does marketing and propaganda for the government. And by the way, the so called fake journalists in Washington know that, and they print the propaganda, and everybody's hunky dory. But the minute you print something that is not approved, all of a sudden they chase you to the end of the earth. So thank God it's over. Thank God Julian Assange is going to be free now. But, you know, and, and it is Biden, so give him more credit than Trump, who lied about it and never set him free. But, but it was his boss, Obama, who chased Julian Assange. Uh, through all of this hell uh, to begin with. And if you're a Democrat, spare me. Oh, Democrats are always better. Are they? Are they? They also did this massive, and what did Obama do? He forgave all of the crimes of Bush and Cheney and instead punished Assange for telling us about their that's, crimes. That's exactly right. And by the way, he did one other outrageous lie. Obama said, oh, no, no, I'm not prosecuting Cheney or, or Bush for the warrantless wiretapping, the torture, etc. Because we look forward, we don't look backward. Then why'd you look backward with Shulian Assange? Why don't you just look forward? Uh, because you want to protect the powerful. So you wanted to protect Cheney and Bush. And you wanted to go after Assange because you don't believe in press freedom at all. Yes, your beloved Obama. He all he did was look out for the powerful. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.